the world of user interface, not all actions are created equal. Some things are really important, and we should do everything in our power to make sure our users and audiences know that. For instance, consider this new account creation form. This tiny little next text at the top is actually the primary action. It's what allows you to register for this service. But you know what? It looks just like the title and the back button. Doesn't feel very primary to me, does it? Contrast that to this example, where we're using strong contrast and a button shape to make it very clear that the main thing to do on this screen is join. This isn't just an iOS issue. If you take a look at Android applications, they have similar problems. Once again, the primary action sign-in looks very, very similar to the title of the page, which is also sign-in. Over time, people may be able to figure out what to click on to actually join these services. But why should we make them think so much and work so hard to figure out what it is they need to do? Much more clear and obvious is when a primary action actually looks like one. Right here on the bottom of the form, a big button-looking thing, believe it or not, that matters, and a clear, strong visual contrast brings this action out. That's what we mean by primary. This also happens on more complex forms. Lots of elements, header graphics can all call more attention to themselves than the primary action is getting, thereby not allowing people to know how they can actually really be done with this page. Now, why does this matter? Let's take a look at some research done by James Foster. He ran a series of A-B tests on menu icons. In fact, he compared this very ubiquitous hamburger menu icon to a very simple variant. All he did was change the icon to include a little bit of a border, making it look more button-like, providing an affordance of clickability, if you will. As you can see, the result was actually quite dramatic. 22% more people engaged with this interaction than this one. James ran the same test again. This time he compared the winner of the previous test, our menu icon button, with the word menu enclosed in a clear affordance. The word menu, much clearer than an icon, performed better. But perhaps most telling is the fact that when he used the word and no border, engagement dropped substantially. What do we learn from this study? We learn that making things actually look tappable and clickable has an impact on engagement. The other thing to watch for when trying to make actions primary is an overall notion of visual hierarchy. Going back to this complex form, the most visual weight is on the header. That's what your eye notices first. Then the complexity of this page has your eye dancing around here. And last, especially not least, you make your way to the primary actions. They have the least amount of visual weight on the screen when arguably they should have the most because they allow you to actually complete the task at hand. As you can see, we've got a couple ways to make primary actions feel as important as they actually are. We can use affordances to make sure it's clear they're interactive. We can use visual hierarchy to give each primary action the amount of weight they deserve. Note, in both the examples I showed from iOS and from Android, I deviated a little bit from the OS conventions. That's because operating system conventions aren't tied to a specific context. They're really trying to deal with the whole, the entire operating system. When you have a critical flow or an important interaction for your users, it may make sense to deviate from those standards a bit to allow people to do what they need to get done. Thank you.